Hello everybody and welcome back to the Slack and Armchair Supporter channel. I'm here again with another news video. It is Thursday the 13th of June. I do apologize. I did want this video coming out yesterday, but another day, another extra bit of news and I'm going to bring it to you right now. Before I do that, please do leave a like on the video and if you haven't already, consider hitting that subscribe button. It makes it makes the world of difference everybody who hits that subscribe button and slowly but surely we are gaining subscribers. I really appreciate every single one of you and I really hope you're enjoying the content. So now Let's get into it. Firstly, I want to say a few words on Alan Hansen. Unfortunately, at this time, he's very ill and in hospital. Of course, he's the former Liverpool captain, the Scottish centre-back. Won so many trophies with Liverpool, like eight league titles, three uh, European Cups, two FA Cups, an outstanding player, and also an outstanding pundit. He's, he's just brilliant. Um, he's, he's 68 years old it's not particularly very old um in today's standards so he is um very sick and in hospital so just wishing him a speedy recovery basically and and sending regards to him and his family next i want to talk about arnie slot of course where is he has anybody seen him yes we have now he's on holiday in ibiza with his family there was no pre-recorded message there was no interview done behind the scenes so that when he was announced they could put that out they're just leaving it for when he comes back so hopefully his holiday ain't too long and we hear from him soon but he's in a beefer it's not too far away um who knows he might pop over to germany as well the next few days and catch a few games at the euros speaking of the euros that is my next thing the euros does start tomorrow this is thursday so tomorrow friday the 14th that is when the euro starts it kicks off with germany versus scotland um, let me know in the comments who you're supporting, where you're from in the world, if you've got a... Well, where you're from in Europe, I should say. If you've got a team in the in the race, let me know where you're supporting from. Um, of course, I'm going to be supporting England because I am... I was born in England. I'm currently living in Ireland. So England will be my team. I'll also be keeping a keen eye on Czech Republic as well, seeing as my fiancé is from there. England's first game will be on Sunday. That's against Serbia. That's also an 8pm kickoff. I will be doing a live stream for that. Um, so if you're interested in that, Feel free to tune in and, you know, get in the chat and have a conversation with me and enjoy the Euros. Also, while we're on the topic of Euros, I want to speak about Trent Alexander-Arnold. There's been a, a bit of a meltdown this week with his relationship with Jude Bellingham has sparked all sorts of rumours that, you know, it's now going to be Jude Bellingham's going to be the agent to bring Trent to Real Madrid. I don't think that's ever going to happen. I mean... There's been reports that Trent is definitely going to Real Madrid. I just don't see it. I just think Trent's a Liverpool player, and I think he'll always be a Liverpool player. I think he'll be a one-club sort of guy. I mean, he's won it all at Liverpool, and he's the one who came out and said it means more when you win it for Liverpool. Also, tomorrow being the 14th of June, Friday, that marks the opening of the transfer window. So, again, I want you guys to get in the comments. Let me know what you think of any transfers that... Well, whether Liverpool will make this season or even just any marquee signers, like any big names going from like Real Madrid to Bayern Munich or, you know, any massive, some, sort of like Mbappe to Real Madrid. Anything like that that you think is going to happen, get them in the comments and let me hear them. Also, that said, do you think Liverpool have got any deals done and they'll be announced tomorrow or... Do you think we're leaving all the business till after the Euros? So now let's get into the rumour mill and that is all of the transfers that Liverpool have been linked with, which is literally every player in the world right now, it's just too much and trying to find the bits of news that are worthwhile to actually give to you is just, <laughs> it's a massive headache. Anyway, there's a few bits of good news to start with and that is Luis Diaz has come out and said he's very happy at Liverpool. I don't mind that. Again, I wouldn't have minded if he'd left, um, if he did want to go to Barcelona. I understand that. And also, if that happened early enough, we we had plenty of time. There's replacements available to be got with him. So if it did materialise that he was leaving to Barcelona, it wouldn't have been the end of the world. I mean, I do think he is replaceable. It wouldn't be like trying to replace Salah or Alisson. Um, so, but Diaz stays and yeah, I, I don't mind him. He's got an awful lot of energy and endeavour about him on that left wing. So happy to keep him. And anyway, speaking of Alisson, that's the next bit of good news. Alisson has snubbed a move to the Saudi Pro League to Al Nasser, which is 
fantastic because it was starting to look a bit like a goalkeeper crisis with Allison looking to leave and then Kelleher wanting to go and be number one. I think if we got rid of one, we wouldn't get rid of the other. It's looking like it's going to be Kelleher who's going to be leaving the club and Allison's going to be staying, which is fantastic because Allison to me is the world's number one keeper. Next up is another bit of news coming from Germany, and that's the fact that Vincent Company is looking to get back into the Premier League market and get some players for Bayern Munich, basically. He's now the manager of Bayern Munich over there. God knows how that happened. You know, it's like, how does an elephant get up a tree? But he's there and he's looking at Joe Gomez. He loves the versatility of the player and thinks he's a standout operator. So he's looking at taking Joe Gomez. Joe's at that stage in his career now where he could look for a different challenge. I mean, he's won everything with Liverpool. He's Liverpool's current uh, longest standing player. He's won everything and he might just be looking for a different um, a different challenge. Whether that happens, if it happens, I'll be a bit upset because I do really like Joe Gomez. He gives everything for the badge. But if it's his time to move on, it's his time to move on. Either way, you know, I'd like the deals to be getting done early so that we can then find replacements and get well prepared for the next season. So now let's get to the incomings for Liverpool. And there's one bit of news regarding Edison. I mean, there was reports that Liverpool had made that initial first bid for at 38 million pounds. Um, this is the Edison at Atalanta. Um, he says that he's happy at Atalanta and he doesn't really mind staying there. But then in the same sentence, it was sort of like he didn't, he was open to a move as well. It was a really weird statement that he came out with. You know, he's happy there, but if his agent came and said, look, we've got a decent deal here, uh, X, Y, Z, you know, I think you should look at this option, then he'd be happy to look at that option. So it's either or really sort of on the fence. Maybe Liverpool can get a deal done. Maybe we won't. I personally would love to see him in a Liverpool shirt. I think he could really make the midfield complete. Next up is that Liverpool have apparently joined the race to sign Jeremy Frimpong from Bayer Leverkusen. Now he is a right back and you'll have to say to yourself, well, we have two great right backs, and we do. Trent is probably one of the best right backs in the world. Connor Bradley was a very able deputy in his few games that he played this season. I'm really impressed with him. So the fact that Liverpool are looking for a right back, it's it's a bit strange. I mean, if again, if this is true, it's all just rumours at the moment. So what I wouldn't mind seeing is if we do go for Frimpong, is Trent then moving into midfield? And if Trent moves into midfield alongside, say, Edison, and then Frimpong and Bradley can then fight it out for starter right back. And again, you've still got that. That would be the ideal situation if that's the sort of player they're going for. So next up, Sporting have released a statement as to how they're going to deal with the Gonzalo Inacio rumors and links. And that's basically Inacio has a 60 million release clause. So come and pay the 60 million release clause and then we'll take it from there that's pretty much how they're standing they're just going to stand firm with that they're not really they, they want 60 million for their player completely understand it he's got that in his contract so if Liverpool want him they're going to have to go give 60 million and take the player and that's what Sporting have come out and said basically is that they're just going to hide behind the, the release clause and if somebody activates it then they'll start negotiating and finally, there are rumours linking Liverpool with Benfica's Yao Neves. He's a 19-year-old defensive midfielder, and apparently he's an absolute wonder kid. The price I've heard for this player is 102 million euro. I really don't see that happening. I don't see Liverpool paying over 100 million for a player. Again, just like Rodrigo, I think it's all just rumours and speculation. So again, don't get your hopes up with that one, guys. So that's going to be it for the video. I appreciate everybody who tuned in. I hope you got something out of the video again that's all of the news i could find over the last few days regarding liverpool football club and yeah thanks everybody who tuned in again if you haven't already please leave a like on the video hit that subscribe button if you're really enjoying the content i'm slowly creeping up with my subscribers slowly building a bit of a community really appreciate it and don't forget i'm going to be live this sunday for the england versus serbia game i'll be doing a live watch along so please get in there and have a chat with me and enjoy the football, enjoy the start of the Euros with me. And until the next video, up the fucking reds.